Hello guys, good afternoon. This is your Mommy TGMS TV. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and then click the notification button para ma-notify ka sa lahat ng mga bago kong video. For today's video guys, pag-uusapan natin ang mga importanting information or mga katanungan dahil sa bagong update ng Google AdSense. So, maraming mga katanungan ang mga makikita natin. Ito ba ay para lang sa mga monetized channel? Paano ba kung wala tayong teen? At paano kung ikaw ay isang minor de edad? Ano ang pwede mong gawin? So, bago natin simulan, mega love shout out muna kay Bati Official Vlog, Kuya Tatsuki TV, Let's Fix It, Rachel, and Ka Nguyen. Noong March 10, 2021, nakatanggap tayo ng love letter mula kay YouTube. Lahat tayo nataranta, napanik kung ano ba ang dapat natin gawin. Ito yung love letter ni YouTube sa atin. Hi there! We're reaching out because Google will be required to deduct US taxes from payments to creators. Of, of course, tayo yung mga creators. Outside of the US later this year, as early as June 20 and 21, over the next few weeks, will be asking you to submit your tax info in AdSense to determine the correct amount of, of your tax info in AdSense to determine the correct amount of taxes to deduct, if any apply. If your tax info is not provided by May 31, 2021, Google may be required to deduct up to 24% of your total earnings worldwide. So ngayon pa lang, dapat simulan na natin kung paano ito i-apply ang tinatawag na updates of your tax information in Google AdSense. How to submit your tax information? So, there are six steps. First, you need to sign in to your AdSense account. Click Payments. Click Manage Settings. And scroll to Payments Profile and click Edit or pencil sign next to United States Tax Info and then click manage tax information and the last one is on this page you'll find a guide that will help you to select the appropriate form for your tax situation a few inches later so let's start go to your Google Adsense now you need to sign in and you can see this sign meaning to say you open already your google and then you go to your home and click the payments and then here now in your payments section you see your earnings and at the below part the manage setting in the manage setting you can see also the united states tax and for the pencil sign you check and click the manage tax info after that you can see here united states tax info to find the right tax from please answer a few questions first what type of account do you have of course you need to look at this there are two options individual and non-individual of course you check or mark the individual and then click the next are you a citizen or resident of United States? Mark no. Select W-8 tax from form type based on your previously selected answer. A W-8 form is needed. Of course, there are two kinds of form here, W-8 BN and W-8 ECI. The W-8 BN, this form is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax treaty benefits. W-8 ECI, this form is most commonly used by non-US business entity or individual that earns income related to its US trade 
our business and files a U.S. income tax return. Of course, we need to mark the W-8B and because we are outside from U.S. as individual creators and would also be used to claim the tax treaty benefits. And then start the W-8BEN and then here you can see the tax identity. So make it sure guys that you need to fill up the exact identification or your own identity, your final or your full name. And then of course your country of citizenship, you need to choose if you are Filipino, you need to choose country Philippines. And of course, they asking you a teen number or foreign teen. So this is the, is the teen number or the teen ID. So you need to fill up that form and then click the next. And then the address, you need also to fill up the correct resident address that you also provide before when you are starting to apply in a Google AdSense. Oh, let's say you are in Thailand, so you need to put the Thailand if you're a residency in Thailand and also the address, the suburb or whatever district you are, the town or city. And then you click the postal address is same as permanent resident address and then click next. And then you proceed the tax treaty. So the question is, end of country claiming treaty with the U.S., yes or no? Of course, you will answer yes. And what's, what country you are now? So you fill up, you choose, and then you may be exempt or having taxes with a reduced rate on certain income types earned within the U.S. So, kinakailangan guys, iselect natin kung anong klase in country. So there are three services there. Services, AdSense, Motion Pictures, and TV, YouTube, Google Play, other copyright, YouTube, Google Play. So, of course, now we are earning money in our, or we have a revenue from AdSense, right? Or services AdSense. So, we check this one, and then we choose or click the Article 7 and Paragraph 1 and the withholding tax 0% reduce rate. And then also, don't forget, to check the box so that you are claiming for that and then you can also use or click the motion picture and TV YouTube Google Play because in the future also you don't know right so you choose the article 12 in paragraph 2a and reduce rate 5% and you don't forget to check the box also so and then you already claim for that benefits or for that reduced rate and then and the last one the other copyright youtube google play you also click that and then you choose article 12 and paragraph 2a with percent reduced rate don't forget to check the box and then click the next makikita na natin dito yung tax treaty mo at saka yung tinatawag na Certification or Documents Preview. So, may apat ka na na forms. Pwede mo itong i-download para may katibayan ka. So, huwag kalimutan i-check ang box na ito na you confirm that you have reviewed all the forms already. And then, click Submit. After that, if you want to check again in your payments, makikita mo dito na inform W8B and your status is being approved. And then, you have rate of 5% in motion pictures being claimed. Other copyrights rate 5% and also services in AdSense 0%. And pwede mo rin buksan yung iyong email address. Makakatanggap ka ng love letter from... Google that you already approve. A few inches later. So ngayon guys, sasagutin na natin yung mga katanungan niyo. Yung mga katanungan na naririnig natin o nakikita sa ganitong sitwasyon. Yung number one na katanungan para lang ba sa monetized channel yung pag-updates ng 
tax and po sa Google AdSense. Of course, yes. Uh, in updates, your tax and po in Google AdSense, those who are mga monetized creators na. So, yung iba ay nakatanggap na ng sahod nila o yung iba hindi pa. So, kinakailangan talaga na i-updates natin yung ating tax and po dito sa ating Google AdSense. So, yung number two question, ano ang gagawin kung wala akong PIN number? Or tinatawag na PIN ID. Kasi yung PIN ID or PIN ay tinatawag ito na tax identification number. So, so kung wala kang PIN, ano yung dapat mong gawin? So, pwede kang pumunta sa BIR para kumuha ka ng PIN ID kung ikaw ay legal age na. So, now na dapat magkaroon ka na ng PIN. So, starting tomorrow, pwede ka nang pumunta sa BIR para lang magkaroon ka ng PIN. Okay? Tapos, yung third question ay, kung ikaw ay isang minor de edad, ano ang pwede mong gawin? So, di ba ang alam natin, if na may YouTube channel ka at monetized channel ka na rin, so bago ka magkaroon ng Google AdSense account, so, dapat ipapangalan muna natin ito sa ating mga guardian or parents, di ba? Sa guardian or parents mo. So, yung pwede mong gamitin na teen ay yung teen ng mama mo or nanay mo or teen ng tatay mo. So, yun na. Nasagot na natin lahat. So, kung may mga katanungan pa kayo guys, pwede nyo lang isulat dyan sa baba kung ano yung gusto nyong itatanong. A few inches later, so, ano pa ang inihintay nyo? Mag-apply na! Submit your Google Info or AdSense Tax Info in your Google AdSense. Now na! Thank you for watching guys and this is TGMS TV. Please like and subscribe. More power. God bless.